Thank you. Good Such to see you. Such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, good to see you here. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited to be here in Israel. Well, good. You met, you met our palatial uh, establishment. I did. In our uh, empirical surroundings. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, it's beautiful. We're very excited. So thank, thank you. you for seeing me. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you for all your help in standing yes. up for Israel, standing up for the truth, which is uh, standing up for America. Actually, I think it's standing up for the UN. Yeah. As it was originally conceived. You know, that's all I've done is tell the truth. That's it's, right. And it's kind of overwhelming at the reaction. Right. Because it was just talking about what I was saying. Well, and which what is I people appreciate the truth. We have a, an ancient Hebrew saying that uh, when somebody tells the truth, you can feel it. Yes. So people feel it. They not only understand it, they feel it. Right. Uh, right. And uh, we feel it. Well, and that's Thank been you. obvious. Thank you for the support. You. We Please, appreciate it. Yes, Stefan, he's the one who knows all, John knows all things Israel. So he uh, helps me when I don't understand. He helps me figure out what I do need to understand. Not as much as the others in this room, but that's <laughs> Well, we're, we're glad to, uh, to see the, the fruits of your effort, which is so common sense. That's, that's just uh, Uncommon it. common sense. And it's the way people reacted uh, across uh, a very wide spectrum. You know what it was? It's, it was a habit. The UN, it was a habit. It was something they were so used to doing. And if there's anything I have no patience for is bullies. And the UN was being such a bully to Israel well, because both, they could. It's a bully and bull. Yes. <laughs> it's both. No. And, um, you know, what I was saying to Ambassador Friedman is we're starting to see a turn in New York. Absolutely. They're, they suddenly, they, I think they know they can't keep responding the way they've been responding. Yeah. They sense that the tone has changed. Well, you've you made a great difference. Uh, President Trump and you have, uh, I think, have changed the discourse, drawn uh, new standards. And uh, everybody's taking note. And that's great. I think it makes uh, uh, a world of difference both for Israel, the U.S., and again, I really mean this, I think that the U.N. would collapse. Uh, uh, you know, that whole scaffolding of lies would just collapse and wouldn't stand. And I think you put in that simple word, truth. Well, and you know, we were talking with some ambassadors in Geneva and that are on the Human Rights Council, and when we talked to them about Agenda Item 7, they were embarrassed by it. Yeah. You know, they, I mean, they acknowledge the fact that it just makes no sense. You can't sit there, and of all countries, Israel? No.